Okay, Mr. Dan, what do we got here? Looks like some kind of gravy. What are we making today? I don't know. Stay tuned and you'll find out just what it is. Okay, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Mr. Dan. Today I said uh, we were going to try to make some more game day dishes. Uh, this dish originally was from uh, King Ranch in Texas, I think it was. Uh, they made this as, as a casserole, but the way they made it, uh, they used some uh, tortillas and they broke them up and they mixed it in the uh, chicken and blah, 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 so the, the food would go a little further. So Daddy Jacks, the guy I tell you I like watching on the video, uh, the one that died a few months ago, he made a version of this and I like it because it's uh, perfect for a game day thing. So without further ado, let's get to it. Dun -dun -dun. Okay, this really is kind of a quick recipe, but anyway, here I have some uh, gravy. Um, you can use uh, cream of chicken soup, cream of mushroom soup, anything you like, a combination of the two. This is chicken gravy, okay, and I added right now, I put a little bit of, when I was making it, I put a little extra uh, cream in there to thicken it up. Here I have the star of the show, the chicken, shredded chicken. There I got me some slap your mama right here, spices, slap your mama. Got me a little bit of uh, salsa verde here, peace. I was gonna use the red kind, but I'm trying to stick to the, his recipe, which he used the green one. Uh, there's some uh, Mount Isle diced jalapeno. There's some nacho cheese that we're gonna use in place of putting the uh, tortillas in there. That was the original recipe when you're making it into a casserole. Which one day I'm going to make because I think it looks, it looks good. This here is a triple cheddar blend straight off the block. It's not supposed to have any of those coatings on it. So we'll be making that. Help, hopefully it melts good. Here I got some uh, multicolored bell peppers. That's my thing. I'm throwing those in for color. There's our favorite right there. Some green onion. I think that's the last of what I got for the green onion. And this here is just regular sweet onion. So without further ado, let's get to it. So like I said, this goes together pretty quickly. Uh, what we got here, the chicken. Okay, and I'm gonna put in some onion. The main reason I did the onion for texture difference, it's gonna give it a little bit more of a crunch. Nice little bite with the onion. Uh, that's a sweet onion, by the way. It's a quarter of a sweet onion, because them suckers are big. All right, takes care of that. We're gonna throw in some of our, I'll throw them all in there. Bell peppers, not much. Don't know how much that was. I just took it out of the freezer and cut it up. Okay. Let me get a nice size spoon again. And just mix this a little bit. It's nothing big, no big deal about mixing this. You could have done it with your hand. But uh, we're gonna, I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. All right. And now I'm going to put a little sprinkle of a slap your mama in there. Not too much. You guys don't want to go crazy, especially with the slap your mama stuff. It's got a nice little, nice little bite. But I'm doing this just because me and Penny like to have a little kick. I know her sister does, so she's watching this. I'll have a little kick out of that. All right, I'm going to put in some, uh, some diced jalapeno straight out of the jar. No, I'm not measuring. Now that's optional. Well, the uh, bell peppers and uh, these are optional. If you like them, throw them in. If you don't, don't put them in. Okay, because we're going to get some good flavor here coming up real short like. Now, nacho cheese in the red bag, the Doritos, huh? Look at Okay, what we're going to do is just break these up by hand and dump them in the bowl here. Get your handful and squish them up. Throw them in there. You don't have to be real particular unless you want to sit there and measure pieces. I don't. Just throw them in there and crunch them up. This gives it a really good flavor, trust me. Uh, the, uh, the other ones are kind of, they don't have much flavor, the, the tortillas, but I'm going I'm to try that recipe anyway. There's quite a few of them out there. I didn't realize that until I started researching it. But I like this one for the, you'll see why, because it's good for the game day thing. 
And I think that everybody that has it will love the heck out of it, you know what I mean? So, just wash my hands here real quick to get the powder the uh, flavoring off the Doritos off my hands. I don't want that. Okay, so now I'm going to move you over here to the gravy bowl. <laughs> okay, so now we got this here in my hand, just so you know. Uh, I'm going to put this. Let me turn this down, turn it off, put it up in a minute. This is pretty hot. What we're going to do is put some ladle, some uh, gravy in here. Just keep putting it in. Don't worry about it. It's going to be good. Now, like I said, you can use cream of chicken soup. You can use cream of mushroom. Uh, it'll work out either way. Okay. I'm making a mess here, Mr. Dan, I know. Should have just used a regular ladle, huh? One more scoop. Okay, then I'll bring you over here to show you what we got. See? Now we're just going to mix this all together. And what the, what the gravy is basically going to do, besides mixing it together, it's going to soften up the chips. Okay? I'm telling you, this is a... Uh, it takes quality control. Uh-huh. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The reason I thought this dish would be nice is because of the Doritos for a game day thing, you know. It's not, uh, <clears throat> by no means it's going to be crunchy, really, but the flavor, I thought, well, if these big uh, taco places can sell you stuff for a game day thing, why we can use them to make our own, huh? Throwing a little more gravy in there. Let's see what we got now. See, I want this. I don't want a really soupy, soupy consistency, but oh yeah. I'll show you guys what we're gonna do next. It's gonna blow your mind. <laughs> Oh, well, whatever. Let's just have a little fun. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop a spoon is what I'm going to do, huh? What I'm going to do here is put some of this cheese in there. Like I said, uh, this is a new cheese for me, but it's not it's supposed to be straight off the block with no coating on it. Now, we'll wait and see. It's supposed to melt pretty good, so I wanted a cheese that would melt good. So now we're going to mix this in. gravy in there. Probably clean out the, the pan. Watch out. This big bowl here. Now if you uh, use the chicken cream of chicken or cream of mushroom you can put it in there whole you know, mix a little bit of milk in there if you like, or dilute it with some water, chicken broth, whatever. Uh, but I wouldn't make it too, too wet. Try to make it a little thicker on the, on the thicker side, you know. This here is going to be over the top delicious. You just wait and see. You'll see what we're going to do next. It's going to going to blow your little minds. Okay, I think that's good enough, huh? <laughs> yeah. Strong enough for you. All right. Okay, let me, a little quality control here for flavoring, make sure we got it right. Mm -hmm. Wow. <clears throat> mm. One thing I almost forgot, <laughs> some sauce here. I'm not going crazy with this, just a little bit. As you can see, but right now, the flavor is mm, spot on. Mm. 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 Mm.
spot on. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, indeedy. All right, one more quality control thing here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that added the right amount of juice to it. Okay, so now I'll be right back. I gotta get one thing. Okay, what I had to get was the extra virgin olive oil here. Spray. Because what I'm gonna do next, this is where the blow in your mind part comes in. Get the little oven safe dishes. You don't have to spray a little bit of stuff in there. Only reason that doesn't stick and then what we're gonna do is now you can if you can get smaller ones you could get whatever you like but I'm telling you, you put this in front of somebody they're gonna chow down on it uh, it's gonna go quick so here you have that I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna do and then I'm um, let you go because I'll fill the rest of these ramekins. I want to keep you on here getting you all bored. Okay, so then the next thing we're going to do is put a little uh, little layer of uh, cheese on top after I wipe the edge of this off here. Mmm. Okay, so you see what I got here. There you go. Let me give you guys a break, and I'll be back when I fill these up. Turn the uh, oven on, by the way, at 350 for right now. Okay, guys, as you can see, I got three of the square ones and one uh, little round one. So for right now, I'm just going to pop these in the oven. Got it at 350. Just we want to just to let it start melting. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, that's about 10 minutes under the bacon in the oven. So now I'm gonna. I'm going to brown it up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to pop this in uh, under the micro, under the uh, broiler for a couple minutes. Just be right back. Okay, guys, there you have it. Approximately uh, seven minutes under the broiler. I didn't want it to burn, as you can see. It's nice and golden brown. So now the final Daddy Jack touch would normally be onions, if you got them, the green onions. I'm like him. I love the heck out of these. You guys watch my videos, you'll see I use a lot of green onion. So, putting a little green onion on each one of these, and then we'll meet you at the taste test table. Get my camera girl in here. She's been a busy little beaver today. She's been working hard cleaning her office. She's got to go back to work. <laughs> okay, there you have it. I'm gonna keep the rest of these for that other one. I do have one more of these dishes in reserve. But I'm not cooking it today. I'll cook that another time. But look at that. That makes a perfect game day dish. People are going to love it. All right. We'll meet you at the taste test table. Boom, boom. Okay. Now, as you can see, that's why I called it a game day snack thing here. Because we put them in the ramekins. Uh, this is really hot. Well, should have waited a little longer. But this first bite, I'm going to dedicate to uh, Mr. Uh, Daddy Jack's. Jack Chaplin was his name, by the way. But this is his version of King Chicken King Chicken Ranch. Ranch King Chicken, whatever. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. That's delicious. Oh crap. Mmm. And that cheese penny picked out at the store the other day melted so great. Um, they call it right off the block or something. Mm. That's what you're gonna miss about that guy. I was just thinking about him. He was a professional chef, yes. Uh, but the way he cooked, he cooked like home style stuff, you know what I mean?
Mmm. Mmm. And I like the way it cooks. <laughs> anyway, that's to Jack Chaplin, Daddy Jack, as it were. Uh, mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. And you serve this with some chips on the side. People are going to love it. And I'll tell you, the flavor of the Doritos is in there. The flavor of everything I put in there is in there. So, I mean, it really is delicious. It's flavorful. Very hot, though. <laughs> Let it cool down a little more than I did. But if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Share with your friends. Your enemies, your neighbors, whoever might like to eat that. <laughs> also, if you have not subscribed yet, please do so. We can use the help. <coughs> you hit the subscribe button, little notification bell will pop down. Hit that. That will notify you each time that we have another video come up. There's also a little arrow down button right below the video box. You hit that. Drop down box will come down. You have a link to my Cook with Mrs. Dan Facebook page, as well as a link to my daughter's artwork site page. And the complete recipe, the ingredients, and how to do this dish. Now, you can do this same dish, like I said, in, in a, a casserole-type dish. I did this to make it more game day thing. You, know, you can do it in a casserole dish. You just let everybody scoop their own stuff out. Uh, but, yeah, it's delicious. <laughs> Spice it up any way you like. Anyhow, this is Mr. Dan saying stay hungry, my friends. Enjoy the game. We'll come back. We'll give us another delicious dish just like this. This is Mr. Dan saying stay healthy, stay happy, and enjoy game day. We're out.